palm size specimen. Um, I'm a little bit unsure of the underlying matrix because when I look at this vaggy crusty material, I think of a, a, a ragonite. Um, perched on this, these sections, the beige, I think maybe tiny barite crystals, thin crust over there. I think with strong lighting, you'd actually be able to see through it. A little bit of patterning on the cross section. Uh, so this could be a ragonite. There is definitely some chrysocala associated here too. You'll see in the core of these little stalagmites, stalactites, chrysocala, uh, surrounded by maybe a ragonite and then dusted with a layer of druzy quartz. Uh, slight color variants over there, which could be some uh, 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 malachite or the, um, or the like sitting on there, maybe some bioildenite even. A uh, lovely section in here where you can actually see the little stalagmites, stalactites of the, uh, the most likely chrysocala in this case, or maybe a ragonite and chrysocala associated. A uh, uh, pretty new material, it's now November 2022, this is the first time I've encountered this. Uh, uh, pretty aesthetic, uh, uh, quite abstract, very artistic uh, on a view. And eventually uh, specimens are a lot about the aesthetic as well. And this is rather appealing. On a turntable going around like this. Oh, and I think one of the still, still pictures I got this vague, which I also found quite vague, uh, uh, fascinating. The patterning on the outside of the crystallization. Look at that.